and I just want to show you this, Carl. I was playing a bit of trendy game. Oh, is this? And turn one, I was like, you know what? Let's go for this magic powder. Okay. Is this why we're in? Um... What is going on here? How long did that want to take? No, no, I waited. Ah, okay. Tactically, and got it to turn one, and was just like, "Fuck you, game! I've mastered this shit." So you just gonna, you wanted to just save that to show us it, okay? Yeah. Uh, but no, I was literally like waiting to um, get you onto Discord, and was just like, "I'm just gonna I'll go play some trendy game." Why not? It's trendy, Carl. It is trendy game. Let's go. So what's our mission now? It's we've got to go to. Um... Oh my god! Straight away, I forget how strong our link is. A little boy. <laughs> oh. No, no, we will not be defeated. Not by grass. The hero not of time does not get destroyed by grass. I don't know if this guy even has a title. Do you know what it is? He's fucking Sir. That's what you call him. Yeah. So we're going that way, aren't we? Here we go. So we were at the animal village just listening to like Marin sing along. And we're going to go to the desert, is it? Uh, I don't think it was. Do you know what I mean? We have to clarify it's been like a, a hot minute since we've played. As always, yeah, like, it's been a little while, so I'm just gonna... This is where we were last time, so I'm okay. just gonna let everyone, you know, soak in some adorable fun. I'm really glad as well, because I've been, like, keeping track, and I'll keeping tabs on the playthrough as it goes up, and no one's done the thing that I thought they'd do of giving us guff for, like, saying this game looks incredible. Oh, yeah, and I'm glad yeah. that you've not um, uh, inspired or got an audience, and that would be that boring. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's been it's, the comments on the, the the like videos have been actually quite inspiring. Yeah, so thank you anyone uh, who has been nice in the comments because no one's like pissed off that we're taking a while to to discover like puzzle solutions and stuff. And it's not like today, is it? Where like we need to talk about this. It's gonna be on my mind. Like, I feel okay. it's gonna live rent free in my head for like the next nine years. Where you posted on Twitter, I am not going to play Resident Evil 8 until the game goes on sale. Because I've heard reviews say it's an alright game, but it yeah. has issues. Mm -hmm. And for, I'm getting that right, that's like roughly what you said. That's, that's roughly what I was saying, I was just going based off reviews, like they said X and Y, and I've decided I'm going to wait to play Resident Evil 8, because I'm not like desperate to play it from the sound of those reviews. And the important piece of information in that, like, uh, like, post that you made is that you have not yet played the game. Yeah. As evidenced by the fact you said, I'm not going to buy it yet. I'm going to wait until it's like reduced price or something, yeah. Yeah, and I saw that and thought, well, I've, I'm actually playing Resident Evil 8 now. I, maybe I'll message Lucas and ask if he wants to do that on my channel. Like, yeah. After I've completed it, we'll do a run through of that so that way you don't have to buy it. You can just experience it vicariously mm -hmm. and play it that way. And I went to click on it to respond that in the comments rather than message you public, rather than message you privately just mm -hmm. fuck it Eliza online now and just one of the first responses is a guy just dropping hard spoilers for the game <laughs> yeah. hard spoilers for a game that at the time of recording this came out three days ago something like that yeah came and out I like just, Friday and recorded on Monday yeah and I just responded dude are you really going to drop spoilers for a game that's been out for four days and they respond I want to bring it up because it's incredible <laughs> this is actually amazing I said it's going to live rent free in my head for the next nine years I can't stop it Right, and he says, oh shit, I'm so sorry. I should DM him instead. I didn't think it through. I thought it was an ongoing conversation that you were currently playing the game. Despite the fact your tweet says, and I quote, I'll get the exact quote here. Everything I've heard from Resident Evil 8 reviews makes me think I'll hold off on for a sale or something. Yeah, and it's just like, well, I guess, like, uh, apparently it's fine to just DM me spoilers, though. Yeah, just DM a content creator um, hard spoilers for a game that they've not played yet, because you read something saying, I've not played the game, and go, well, that must mean they're halfway through playing it. I don't, I don't know how they got that information. I, I really don't. And I get, like, this is where we're meant to go. So, fuck it, yeah, let's do it. Let's do some story. So, why not? But, yeah, I, I'd really, to clarify, like, I... You know, comments on these, like, video series, so far, good example of comments. Bad example of, like, comments and stuff. Don't DM me spoilers, please. Don't DM me spoilers for a game that came out two Especially days ago. Especially a game that I've just said I'm not going to play yet. Yeah, I'm going to hold off until I can, uh, from experiencing it for a while. 
But yeah, and, you know uh, what, Carl? We don't need to worry about like Resident Evil Eight right now. We need to worry about the catfishes more. The catfish is more scary. And like, what... fucking, I have not played this game in like a week. It's all been a minute. Straight, straight on to just. Fuck it, we're in a There's two of us there. We could two of us can solve a puzzle. I say, knowing that we've not been able to solve many puzzles with two of <laughs> yeah. us yet. I, uh. I did you I don't know if you saw like did, because like give you a rough idea, like I think episode five is now out while we're recording. And what episode uh, was that? Because obviously the number doesn't mean anything to me because we um, recorded like so, an like, hour and a half in a row. Just done you know, like the rabbit. Oh god, that fucking rabbit. So what, what was the intended out... solution to that? Uh, so we did the, the right solution. It turns out that there's an owl statue somewhere that tells you, like, kill the pole's voice first. So what's the pole's voice? The rabbit. Oh. You mean that? And it's like, that even we... if I'd read that hint, I wouldn't have known that the rabbit is called a pole's voice. Is that an enemy? Because that's the thing, you've played a lot of Zelda games. Is that a common enemy? Like a... It's like for goblins and stuff like From that. From the, the games I have played, it's not a common enemy. It's not an enemy that, like, these bats I would know are called a keys. Yeah. Like, that is a, a Zelda mainstay. Like, the bokoblins, the moblins, the keys, mm. like, the um, octoroks, things like that, I would know. Like, the poles of voice, what the fuck is that? That's a terrible hint. That's and awful. It, like, I think it's because, like, you know, uh, old school Nintendo where it's like, Oh yeah, but in the instruction manual we tell you the names of all the enemies or something stupid. But that doesn't help you when and you're playing a digital version of the game. Well, I'm not. I'm, I'm playing the physical version, but I don't, like, there's not really you're not making anything that. to read nowadays, is there? No, not really, no. The only thing you ever get inside the physical version of a game these days is a piece of paper with DLC on it, which is like, download a piece of shit that you don't want and ruins the game, either aesthetically or gameplay-wise. Or just something saying, buy this. Yeah. And uh, just to bring it back to like, you know, I'm glad that no one's uh, been boring. Uh, yeah. Something we've talked about before is just the unreal engine render of a game that just looks awful and boring. And everybody online like puts it on the fucking front page of Reddit going, oh my god, I can't believe this Charmander is on a grassy field that, like, that has no extra yeah. environment detail or anything. It's just stock field from ue4 with like one high model like a high highly rendered model yeah it's like i saw one it was like uh, someone modded metal gear solid 5 to be metal gear solid 3 and they just made it so instead of running through the undergrowth you know, like the brush of a desert yeah they changed it so it's green so it looks like you're in a forest and then just put an overlay on it and i was like wow metal gear solid 3 would have looked incredible it's like no this looks like shit because metal gear solid 5 is an empty dead world with nothing interesting in it <laughs> whereas metal gear solid 3 while it's not open world is very dense mm -hmm. and has a lot of content in it oh, well. and, I, and i feel that's like a very similar thing of like the amount of people i saw in the comments for that I'm like, oh my god this looks incredible Mm -hmm. This is what like, Metal Gear Solid 3 should have looked like if they made it. Like, no, because it's looked boring. It's an empty, barren, open world with nothing fun or interesting in it. Instead and of I, a like, I super dense. That whole argument of like, doesn't this empty thing with like one pretty character model look nice? No. It's like, no, it looks boring. <laughs> it's like um, you've seen all like, before the release of, um, oh my god, that thing went flying. Before <laughs> Breath of the Wild came out, you'd often see like the. Oh, here's what Zelda might look like in 4K. And it'd just yeah. be a high-quality model of Link running around the Unreal grass. Yeah, it's, like, wow, it's this always looks incredible. that Unreal field, isn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah, like the Sonic game. We've all seen it with Sonic or Mario or a Pokemon in it. Yeah. And it just looks fucking boring. Then you look at Breath of the Wild, which is essentially Link running around a field, but those fields look interesting. Because there's they always look something. Interesting, yeah. They might not look the best, but they look interesting. The landscape's better than just like uh, the one that I always bring up because it just it makes me sad. Just for the kind of person to know that kind of person exists was that mm. Unreal Five demo, and it's like someone running through uh, the desert. Oh yeah, the UE Five demo, yeah. Which is it's a demo, and it looks like the gameplay. Is and they even more. clarified like this is not a game that exists. No, it's a graphical showcase. I yeah. legit saw some of that. I can't play any game on my PS4 after watching that demo. <laughs> and it's like, God. What's it like having no personality? Just zero. Just a little rock garden. Can you do something like destroying the uh, the gems, maybe? Destroying the gems? 
Yeah, go to the other route. Ah, okay. Like, destroy the gems to make that pattern. What do you mean, the gems? Destroy the crystals in the other route. Ah, uh, okay. So you can see, like, the, what's the yeah. two places that are taken up. So it's like... Here and here. Okay. Have a look. Just take, like, a mental snapshot of that. Could you yeah. make that pattern? I think you can. Uh... Let's go back and have a look. You can, you can definitely make that pattern. See the one in the middle, yeah. and that's where that's where the thing is. Look. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Can you like just like if you charge your sword? Doesn't he like you poke it? I've got to charge it in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you face towards, it, you can just like stab it a little bit, can't you? There we go. Oh, God. ah! So this is this is fun. This is a neat little puzzle. It's not often that Link has to use finesse when he's destroying stuff. Yeah. Normally, it's just destroy everything. Now you're being asked to be careful. That was a dangerous game right there, Lucas. <laughs> Get in that. Right. So. Let's destroy these two. But then there's like the two in the. The, basically, these blocks need to be where Link is. Hmm. Like here and here. Can they be there? That's my issue. Can you pick up the gems? You can't, can you? The gems cannot be picked up. No. Hmm. Maybe that's not the solution then. I thought I was being smart then. Although, it's got four. No, these two spots are like empty. Maybe they're empty as well, though. Maybe they count. Maybe they count as being empty, too. Yeah, they are. So go back again, have a look. Hmm. Ooh, maybe you could destroy something and then move something into its place. Is there a way you can sneak round? Could you destroy one and push the, uh, the brick into its place? I don't think you can, could you? I don't think so. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Oh. Yeah. Because I'm really trying to like... Visualise it in your head, yeah, I see. And you can't pull, can you? No. Like Link's got a lot of pushing force, but not a lot of pulling force. He doesn't do enough pull-ups. There's a lot of chest press, but not enough pull-ups. So I'm wondering if like maybe we get something that can help us with this later. Maybe. So maybe this we is a case of just like checking out the rest of the... the Thing. Yeah, there's no point like beating our head against that wall for the time being. There's, there's not. There's more to explore. We've learned from fighting the what, the poor Volus. The Pole's voice. Like, that sounds like something for Mass Effect. Yeah. The Volus, which I love. I love the Volus. Yeah, Guardian Acorn. You should make a necklace out of them. Make a necklace out of Guardian Acorns and just keys teeth. <laughs> My God, we take like, a quarter heart of damage. Like, we're pretty much invincible as so far as most enemies in this game well, are concerned. Like, maybe this is where we get the hook shot to get across to that. Ooh, maybe it'll let us destroy chest. things. No, again, like... Hmm. No, I guess the sled back there. Well, the solution must be there. We can keep going forward. It must be, yeah. There's a solution there for us. We don't have a key yet, do we? Uh, no. So it should beat, well, I guess though, Lucas, we are going to go beat our head against the wall. Maybe we are, yeah. Charge. Yeah. And what are they? Are they like hamsters? I'm not sure what these are. They're like guinea pigs wearing like football helmets. <laughs> I don't know if they're like little dodongos or not, but I'm not sure. I bet it's got a name that we're not allowed to know. Oh, so close. So, so close. That's something about in gaming. That's like you break it down, and it's like one of the most impressive things ever. Like, because you're like doing perfect somersault. No, jumping twice your own height. Oh right, yeah. Hmm. The enemies. Could you do it like? Yeah. Ah, uh, you thinking it's to do with the enemies? Maybe. No, there's only three in here now. Oh, so they do stay dead. Digging. Like digging, magic powder. Oh, digging, yeah. Because you're in sand, I'm thinking. Hmm. Forgot we could dig. 
we can. And I'm just, I noticed that we're in sand. So maybe destroy everything to see. Try, try a little dig. Something sand. Uh, buh, buh. And then. Can I make holes? Does that count? Because see, this is where an owl will be helpful. Yeah, yeah. An owl will be very helpful for here. And there's not a lot of like visual indication that this might be the right thing to do. Hmm. Well, maybe I like, test the walls in here. Ding, ding, ding. It's super unclear what they actually want you to do with that, don't they? So there's been so, obtuse and there's just been fucking obtuse. Yeah, this is a. This is like another level, isn't it? Yeah. Tonk. What about digging in there in the holes in the middle for these? Nope. We got rupee. rupee I'm getting paid. Uh... Nothing glows. Nothing to be revealed. Nothing to be pulled. Nothing to be destroyed. Ding, ding. Hmm. Just links like hit it with a shovel. Yeah, this is really confusing <laughs> this one. Uh, hit it with a shovel. Hmm. This is where the fun comes in. Because yes, we are getting fr like frustrated, but at the same time, it's gonna be so satisfying when we figure it out. Or incredibly frustrating. Yeah. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. So I don't know if it is, it's just like you're meant to get these four blocks to uh, where. We can't move them. It doesn't you seem like you can move them far enough. No, you can only push them once. Because you need to get it to like here. Here. What? Here. And you can't move anything and to here. those spaces, can you? And you can't move the crystals. You can't just, like, the crystals can only be destroyed, not moved or pushed. And these can only be pushed in like one stupid direction. Are you kidding me? Really? The fuck is all that stuff in the other room then? Yeah, what's the other room got to do with all that then? <sighs> Maybe it's just to distract you. Potentially. That was real that's really awkward. I hate that. Like we overthought that. And so that's not much, a fuck. Yeah. Like Joe you know I talked about it's really satisfying when you figure out the puzzle. <gasps> Maybe you can figure it out now. Uh, now because they've stayed in place. Okay, now look at it. Yep, yeah, now you can do it, look. Now you can okay. create the right... Yeah, look. The two gaps that are missing. Go back in. Because now they're a square. You can make the two gaps on the side. If you look, the squares in the middle are where the brown things are now. They're no yeah, longer so where those... Yeah, these four blocks here. Yeah, are where those things are. So you've got those two gaps on the side next to them, look. If you look. Go back into the other room. Yeah, yeah. You can clear out the space. But then, so like, make make the pattern again. Here. Yeah, but make the pattern again. I like, make the pattern now with the four in the middle, because you don't have to move anything. But there's still a. Don't matter. Just, just try it. Just try it. I'll try. See what see what happens now. Now try digging. So if you like. These top right ones are what we need here. Yeah. Try digging now. Let's see. So that's the only thing we can do to impact how this um, pattern looks. Ah, shit. Now I'm wondering if we can get rid of these four glowy ones as well. Like... No. Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter for now. Come back later, I suppose. That was really frustrating. We yeah, were over things like, no, just push them into a square. And it's Maybe we'll get a, an ability later. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Maybe later well, in here we'll get an ability oh, later. That, that room is literally there to be an annoying red herring. Just like the rabbit room. The rabbit room we needed. 
Oh yeah, it was. It was critical to the path, wasn't it? It was, it? yeah. Like... The pole right. voice. Take it out on everything, Luke. Destroy everything. Ah. So yeah, apologies about that. I guess I just didn't think it would be that easy. That's often a problem with puzzles, isn't it? When you overthink the solution. Yeah, yeah. I'm giving the game more credit than it deserves. Yeah. But it's weird that it's just next to a room with nothing in it, with a marking on the floor. That almost perfectly matches what you have. Yeah, and it's like seemingly significant, but maybe not. When it might be in the future, and we're not sure. We'll just keep exploring, maybe we'll find something that's worthwhile. How much force do you need to destroy an entire crystal? I feel like crystals are pretty tough. Uh, so I'm so guessing we need... Yeah, we need a stone beat per dungeon, don't we? There it's again. It's the same pattern again. Oh. It is. Maybe this, like, um, cool Skelly Bob Knight will tell us something. Nope. He'll True. tell us one thing, it's on guard. I'll tell you one thing I've noticed, though, that I think is a really awesome design detail. Oh, he yeah. He has a shield on his elbow, look. When he swings, he has a shield on his elbow. So you just try and swing it in, look. Oh, so cool. Oh. Get him. You pick him up. Ding, 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 ding. Oh no, I haven't got the range. He's got range on you, Luke. Joe Link's got tenacity. Uh, bomb. Oh. Oh no, it's lift, lift then. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. well, I bet that did enough damage. That was a bad time. Lock him in. This is what it means to go further beyond. <laughs> Try fighting me at this speed, Skelly Bob. I pick up his skull. Maybe it was lift up the bomb. Lift That's up it, the yeah. bomb, yeah, it was. My God, I'm that sorry, sir. You need to die. How much does that hurt? Like, ting, 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 ting. Uh. Oh, straight away. No mercy. <laughs> Dance on his grave. Well, he's, he's already dead. I can't beat you. I'm out of here. Uh. I hope he just leaves. So maybe this is like, I don't know, room one or four or something. Hmm, maybe. I mean, once you've beaten everything in these rooms, just keep exploring. See yeah, we well, like, now that we've seen a second one of those, I think there's definitely, like, something going on, but also, like, between interconnected rooms or something. Oh! <sighs> That's great. He even signs it, with a, he signs it with a picture of his own face. What yeah. a fucking narcissist. Oh, the cheap cheeps! <gasps> Our oh. cheap cheeps are the most terrifying enemies ever. Especially the giant one. Oh, the giant one, yeah. Is he like called Boss Cheap or something like that as well? Is it? <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to look him up now. I think he's like Big Bass or something like that. Um, big Cheap Cheap Man, I'm typing one handed here, folks. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake, I tried to Why have you all got two hands? Because I'm like trying to use the other one to make sure my uh, soundproof doesn't fall down. Ah, oh, right, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, what the, Luke, what the fuck is going on in here? <laughs> what is this party that's happening? This party, baby. There's another another beakless statue there. That's really harsh. They're just talking to you like, uh, they're, like they're probably screaming a lot. <laughs> just in pain, like please help me. And you're just there, like, well, are you gonna give what me help? And, like, well, I can't. And you're like, okay then. What are you, sir? Okay, big pig cheap. Oh, here we go. So the big cheap cheap. Oh, he's just called big cheap cheap. Oh. <laughs> so look, big cheap cheap. I'm on the uh, the Super Mario wiki now. Uh, big cheap cheap, originally known as both boss bassers and big birthers. And later, uh, as Mega Cheap Cheeps. <laughs> are large Cheap Cheeps that appear throughout the Mario franchise. Uh, although originally depicted as carnivorous, these traits were later given to a separate enemy known as the Cheap Chomp. Oh, the Cheap Chomp. That's, That's a great... Like, oh, they're the ones who like the super huge lips. And like the mohawk. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, 
I hate them. So Boss Bass. Which is a great name for an enemy type. Mmm. Yeah, this, and, this dungeon is screaming out to me, like, just hookshot, hookshot, hookshot. Is that what you're feeling you're gonna get? Yeah. There we go. So, names in other languages um, include um, the huge cheap cheap in Japanese, um, mm. giant cheap cheap in simplified Chinese, big, yeah, it's big cheap cheap, boss bath blurt, big cheap cheap. I'm noticing, a, like, you know, a, just a trend. Yeah. They are big and they are cheaps. They are cheap cheap and they are big, yeah. Ooh. Oh, I'll give it back. Give me that rupee. Oh, we can oh, use the cow. We got stuck. it stuck. He doesn't know what to do. There we go. Now we can talk to the owls and like tell us what the hell is going on. Give us your secrets. Just join him, dance. <laughs> that's that's brutal. That's him for the rest of the day. Ooh. Those things have got eyes as well, look. So they can see you. Oh, they cool, it loops right around. Fuck you guys. <gasps> I thought that skeleton like leapt onto your back then. <laughs> and we're just doing like all sorts of cool combos. Talk They're to me, Owl. jockeying you like fucking left for dead. If you can't destroy a skeleton with your sword, try it. Like, that would have been really helpful Fuck before. Me. Like, so was there any way for us to get that beak before fighting that boss? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Oh, so wait. We... No, wait, yeah, you could have gone left. Okay, so I'm saying he gave us a hint to beat the boss that we found after beating the boss and discovered mm -hmm. the tactic on our own. Uh, oh. Well, yeah. I'm <laughs> just no. Just I'm not going I'll, through there. I'll press this button. <gasps> ah, so we yeah. have to come from the top. Got it. Yeah. Oh my god, this is a big dungeon. This is. This is a fun one, man. Good. Yeah. yeah, we're later in the game. We're at that point in the game now where, like, we've sold a few dungeons. Like, you know, mm -hmm. it's not our first um, dungeon rodeo. We should and be expected like, to know what we're doing. Yeah, that's the one thing that I say, like, uh, there's, there's games like Link Between Worlds where it makes it very obvious to you that you can do the dungeons in no matter what order you want. Which is great until you realise it means they all have to be able, capable of being done by a level one player. Yeah, which means like every single one has to be simple. It's like, it's like, okay, yeah, I see what you were doing, but at the same time, like now every dungeon's really easy. Yeah, and there's the no thing, like, like difficulty scaling. It's like stuff like games like Skyrim and stuff with like adaptive difficulty, where mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's great that you can go anywhere on the map at any level you want, but it means that nothing's a challenge. Because oh, every, <laughs> every um, encounter and every puzzle should be able to be sold by a level one player with no uh, combat skills. Yeah. Ooh, oh my god. Link like, just on his on. tiptoes. There's nothing wrong with putting in harder dungeons. Difficulty is not a bad thing in a video game. It's not, but it's also not the be all and end all like some people decide it. Yeah. Like, no one cares that you beat Dark Souls doing a fist only run. Like, put a fucking tutorial mode in that thing, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Like, it would not be the end of the world if you put a tutorial in a Dark Souls game. But apparently it would be the end of the world to some people, Carl. Oh, this hmm. is like room number three then, I guess. Like, so what got, does it mean? They've all got the same pattern. Ah! Oh, oh you skelly bob, man. Look, you're just dancing. You're having a great day. Just the Daniel Fortescue's cousins over here. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, so now we can at least have a look. At last, you've got a map. Jesus. Ooh, this is a big old dungeon. This is. There's probably still a look at it. No, it's not. Like, fuck you. <laughs> this is a big dungeon when you're playing it once a week for an hour. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love it. Just that animation is so cool. Now, what a man. Just this boy. Oh, they look so cool. And those things in real life are awesome. I love them. Oh, yeah. Water skaters, yeah. It's like water boatmans as well. It's like, uh, are they? They're the ones that swim upside down, do you remember? Uh... Did you ever do a thing of, like, going to... Um, go, <gasps> oh! <gasps> underwater yeah. shit. Uh, yeah, water boatmen. Uh, they are the insects that float on the water upside down and then swim by kicking their legs. And the reason they're so <laughs> funny is because they make this really loud clicking noise. Like you'll hear them, like you can hear them in the water. They're the size of like a thumbnail. 
and you can just hear them like or whatever noise it is they make. That noise is then made by them slapping their own belly with their penis rapidly. <laughs> this is a real thing. So when you're at a river sometimes and oh, you just well, hear shot, yeah. yeah, a very loud clickety clacky sound, that is the sound of a water boatman <laughs> slapping its own belly with its penis to attract a mate. Oh god. That is information I did not need, but I'm kind of glad I got. The one that my girlfriend told me is that when showing America and cicada breeding season, which happens like once every 17 years, and it's actually happening this year. And oh, okay, yeah. The reports are they're expected trillions of cicadas. Oh, my God. And they will sit and they make the most awful noise. Yeah. It's just this awful, like, fucking uh, clicking noise. But like, imagine that times like a hundred thousand, and they will sit in trees. Like these are like as well. If people don't know what a cicada is, it's like a locust type creature, mm. the size of like a small or like a tangerine or something like that. Sometimes they're fucking massive, and they will just spray out their cicada jizz in clouds that are so thick you can feel it on your face as you walk into the trees. Oh. And it's just like, why would you even bother going outside? Like, yeah. Just I'll tell you what, for these couple of months, just like just, don't go outside yeah. at all. Every 17 years, a trillion cicadas emerge from the ground. <laughs> oh, that's so grim. What's it feel like to walk through a cicada jizz cloud? That's the thing, but you can feel it. Or cicada, however, however people want to say it. But I don't well. care how it's pronounced. I'm just glad I don't live in a country with everything. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds that sounds awful. I guess you got to go all the way right back around. <laughs>